What's up guys, welcome back. So super quick and easy video for anyone out there trying to upgrade your ASUS laptop with the M.2 SSD. One thing to mention you guys, this is not compatible with the NVMe M.2 SSD. All right, it has to be the SATA version. So when you're looking for your SSDs, make sure it's the M.2 2280. In this video, I'm gonna be installing this Western Digital and here are the results after I install this actual SSD. So in this area right here, you're supposed to have a sticker like the picture above. Pretty much just tells you that the M.2 2280 SATA SSDs are the only ones compatible with this actual laptop. So it will not work with the NVMe M.2. So make sure you guys get the correct drive when you're ordering your SSD. After removing the battery, guys, go ahead and remove the two screws. This one was missing one already, so it made it a little bit easier for me. And remove the back cover. From here, we can go ahead and start removing the four screws that are holding down the internal hard drive. Luckily, there's not very many screws we gotta remove, just four screws that hold down that drive. If you don't already have a magnetic mat, just organize them somewhere where you don't lose them. I mean, you can pretty much get by with two, but it's always best to put all the screws back into place where they originally came out from. And with all the screws removed, just go ahead and pull to the left and your hard drive will come out all in one piece. No need to take it apart, no screws need to be removed, set it to the side somewhere safe. We will be reinstalling that here shortly. Alright guys, so out of the packaging, this is exactly what it's going to look like. Just make sure you get the correct drive. Again, this is the M.2 2280 SATA SSD. Not compatible with the NVMe M.2 SSD. So your laptop's supposed to have a screw already that comes with it. For the M.2 slot, this laptop did not have one. I got lucky and I found this little screw in my bag of screws that I have just randomly collected. So if you guys have any random screws, just see if anyone fits and then um, try it. You know, that's pretty much what I did. It fit perfectly inside this little hole right here. I will put a link in the description from Amazon that has like a little kit. But you pretty much just need a screw to hold down that drive so it doesn't pop up whenever you install it. So if you have a little screw, try it out. If it holds it down, then you should be good to go. So at this point, we can go ahead and just put our cover back on. I'm not going to reinstall the original hard drive that came with the system because I'm not ready to do that yet. Go ahead and put your screws back in there, reconnect the battery, and we're going to go ahead and do a fresh install of Windows onto the new M.2 SSD. Whenever you're ready to install the new operating system onto the SSD, you can choose Windows 11 if you like, or you can do Windows 10. I went with Windows 10 since I already had a bootable USB. I will put a link in the description for you guys to create a bootable USB. But insert your USB, hit the power button, and then hit escape key to boot from USB. And then choose the USB with your Windows 10 already loaded. And like I mentioned earlier, you guys, I had already installed the operating system on this computer. So go ahead and follow the prompts. Agree to the terms of use. Click on custom. And when you get to this screen right here, you're only going to see one partition. Click on it and then click new and it will create all four of these partitions you're looking at on your screen and then follow the prompts and finish installing the operating system. All right guys, and if you've made it this far, then you have successfully installed Windows 10 or Windows 11. We're gonna go ahead and shut this computer back down, reinstall the original hard drive, format that hard drive so that we can use it for backups or photos or music or whatever you want to use it for. All right guys, so from here, go ahead and remove that battery. Remove the two screws holding down the back cover and reinstall the hard drive. Don't forget the four screws. Put the cover back on, put the battery back in, and don't forget to lock that battery and you're done with this procedure. From here, we're just going to go ahead and click on this little vanilla folder here. Click on this PC. Look for the drive that's going to be more than likely labeled Windows. I had already formatted this drive, but yours is probably going to say Windows on there. Right click, format, and then label it whatever you like. You can type in backups, you can type in photos or documents, whatever you want to do. 
when you're ready to format it, you just click on start and this will delete every single thing that was inside that drive originally. An advantage to having a second drive in your laptop is that you can always create backups directly onto that drive in case your SSD ever crashes out or you catch a virus. You can always back up and restore from that. To get to that, go ahead and go to the bottom left hand corner of your screen to the Windows icon. Type in control panel and click on it. From here, go to the category and click large or small. I like the large and then click on backup and restore. From here, by default, it's going to see your old hard drive that you just formatted and you can back up to that and restore from that same drive in case anything ever happens to your computer. With that being said, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks again for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Leave a comment and I'll get back to you guys ASAP. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.